Hey there, Boots Owen here. Nine solar panels in the sun on a sunny Sunday afternoon, I think, at this point. Previously, I was having issues where if I touched the tin roof, you'd get a bit of a hop off it from some kind of a voltage, something running to earth through the body. So there's my new earth cable dangling. And if I recreate the fault before, if I touch this with one hand, and touch the roof with my other. Before I was getting an electric fence type shock, you know, like a very slight tingling in my fingers. I'll try it again. But right now I'm getting nothing. And the test for this is to pull the cable out of the earth. Just uh, touch it into space maybe, or yeah, it's resting on the plastic there now. So let's try again, and I'll see if this earthing cable is working. So if I touch the roof and then... Oh. <laughs> the phone leapt out of my hand because I was only holding it with two fingers. So this this is indeed working um, as an earth rod. However rudimentary, the clay's a bit moist, so it is working. Um, I'm wearing rubber shoes at the moment, so if I touch it, nothing will happen, and I'm not about to attempt it again. It's installed, it's running fine. It's disconnected from Earth now. I had Earthed it last week, so I've taken the Earth away. I'm just gonna do some tests right now on what's coming out of the Earth cable. So let's see. Let's see what it's producing, just for fun. It's doing 1.7 kilowatts there now. 1.7 kilowatts, and that's about 70 or 80% of what those panels could achieve if they weren't covered in bird poo and in a kind of an overcast cloudy aspect if you have a look there the sun is it's not quite behind the cloud well it is actually i can't look at it with my eye uh, i can't go blind i can, if i look up i can see the sun but if i point the camera at it it doesn't seem it's just that spot in the very center now uh the camera doesn't mind it so it's partial cloud and that's where we are so this cable here is twin and earth it's just a piece of twin and earth that i've wrapped around one of the fixing screws for the roofing and if we play with it now i had, I had it pressed into the clay as an earth rod and it was barely in at all but it was doing something because i wouldn't get a shock if uh if it was pressed into the earth and i tested that in a previous video uh, let's set this to voltage dc 20 volts and we're getting point between 0.1 and 0.2 of a volt DC. Let's turn it up to millivolts. So 120 millivolts there, roughly. It's it's moving about a bit. So if I put it over to AC. We're getting a more steady two volts AC, which is a bit strange as far as I'm concerned. So let's put it to 10 amp current. Move the plug over and see if anything's coming out of it. I'm getting nothing there. Let's move the plug back and just try it for current on the other scales. I'm, I'm connecting this to one of the steel legs, which is concreted in about 600 millimeters into the ground and as an earth rod goes th that's as, as good as it's going to be because i'm going to connect on here for earthing later on so put it on to 200 milliamps nothing 20 nothing 2000 nothing nothing there on 200 micro amps so i'm not getting any um I'm not getting any current flowing through it. And I'm reluctant to touch it because I, I've experienced that before and it's like an electric fence. It's giving you a shock, but two volts doesn't doesn't seem right. So if you know what's going on there, and it could be that the either the earth has dried out or it's a dry day and the roof isn't conducting as much because it was damp in the morning when I did it last time. If you know anything about these things, just let me know about it in the comments because I'm interested. And you might be too. Uh, this is a solar panel earthing question, I guess you'd say. Um, other than that, any other questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later. 
so just before I close the door on this, I thought I should put in an actual copper, piece of copper pipe, a meter long. We're in a little bit already. that'll get a better earth on the other side and we'll see if there's anything interesting going on here. So we're on to 600 volts DC. There's my earth cable coming down from above. If I get in here. Oh, that was an interesting start. doing something. The readings seem to be similar to before. We're getting 5 volts this time on the AC. On the AC side, 5 point something. If I put it onto DC at 20, let's see what it does. Let's go to 1 volt, 8 volt, 7. moving about a lot there it's gone negative again and positive so it's doing something interesting i don't know what um, i'm gonna flatten this off and make a clamp off this i'll flatten this bar off with uh vice grips or something or maybe just a hammer and an anvil drill a hole in it and clamp an earth cable onto that and that'll be my earth rod now excellent So copper pipe into the earth and a piece of six mil, I think, four mil or six, I think it's six mil copper earth cable with um, copper crimp on end, brass screw coming around the back and up there, looped over and coming down and just secured through the top onto the metal profile with the brass screw. So is this a correct earthing installation? Not at all. Each one of the solar panels should be bonded together and then down to the earth somehow. 
and I don't know if you can use the electrical system that comes with the mains in the house to do that but I've opted not to I've just run it straight into earth because that was where the fault originally occurred for me through my fingertips and uh, hand so my hand was on an aluminium ladder which was on wet clay it was a wet day the roof was all wet so is this a solution no but it's just me tinkering so I can do whatever I want and that's how it is if you have any observations, questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you later.